Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, and it is the 15th of March 2024, and we've had some early mod drops today, so we've had, so far at the time of recording this, only two mods have dropped. I have waited a while, and nothing else has appeared on mod up, so anyways, let's have a look at this mini mod drop, but a also a colossal mod drop, so first of all, We've got the Deutz for D06 series remake by Blaba. It is 16.45 megabytes to download. Slot counts are 10 slots for the tractor, two wheel drive or four wheel drive. And then it's two slots for the front loader. So you'll find this under machineries and small tractors. Head to the end. So yeah, we've got a two wheel drive and a four-wheel drive version, so four-wheel drive, we've got different configurations, so design one, so it's sort of different models in that, design two, design three, back to design one. Engine-wise, we've got 55 horsepower, 60 horsepower, and then back to 55. Road brands, we've got BKT, standard, wheel weights, wide, wide width weights, rear twins, narrow twins, standard, Michelin standard weights wide similar continentals same wide and wide with weights and then back to Trailborg Nukins first line so yeah typical tire configurations as you'll see ROPS that is the rollover hoop so we've got design one design two or none Exhaust, we've got standard exhaust, which would be on a back or a side or something. So yeah, side exhaust there on standard. We've got out, uh, yeah, vertical as well afterwards. Passenger seat, got no. Left, right, or left and right. That will require the Kubota DLC to have passengers. Then attachers, this is for the front, so standard. It's just got a pin hook, got a wide attacher, front weight, and that adds 0.2 tons, or say 0.2 or 0.25 tons. And back to standard, front loader attacher, no or yes. And then license plate. And the two wheel drive version is pretty much exactly the same, depending on what you go with in terms of design. So yeah, if you stick with design one, you do have options for changing the room colour. So you got grey and other versions of red. But at least you got front loaders and this will be fine under tools. Front loaders, there we go. At the end, so yeah, two slots, goes down to one, two and a half grand. Yeah, not too shabby and depends on what design you go with for the tractor. And that configuration can suit said tractor. So, turn speed beyond. Front loader and that. Nice animation. Love the hydraulics. Good shifting. Yeah, no like, hand animations or anything like that. And yeah, just looking at here, there's anything else with the tractor in that, and no rain. So, that is the Deutz Fahr D06 series remake by Blauer. Next, we've got this. We've got the Lieber LTM 1450 Mobile Crane. And this is by Ross N. Mods. 51.82 megabytes to download. Slot count are, it's 19 slots. And yeah, if you're used to seeing some of these containers, then you'll be aware of a version of mods you can use. Things like the lizard cranes and that. Or even something like a front loader tractor with a massive weight on the back. That's how I got this set up, was using the case and that. With a 7.5 ton weight on the back as a stabilizer and set things up. So yeah, but here it is. It goes as following. 
It's a big, fast, erecting, erecting crane. It's a very long, yet but powerful, 7-piece, 85-meter telescopic boom. It's got 8 axles. Cost-effective, yep, 12 ton axle. And the crane, it says the crane can be used for a variety of mods, not on the mod hub, so doesn't give too many examples besides from the 20, 30 and 30 foot containers by Spano and A2 Studios. It says lifting chains will be attached automatically. So what that means by 20, 30 or 40 foot. So you've got the standard containers, the tank containers and the grain containers. So and it's only 20 30 or 40 feet. Not not ones that ends in fives, not 25, 35, or 40 fives. And I've gone and tested and it's along it's 20, 30 or 40 feet. No matter what the configuration or options you got, so it could be high cube, unreal, auto load, standard, whatever it is, it will work perfectly fine. So before we have a look at this, you'll find this under vehicles and under miscellaneous. We do have some options, so main colour changes the main colour of the crane. So you've got the zebra yellow and then your basic colour palette, so let's say a nice hot Barbie pink. Design colour will change. So yeah, the, the body of the chassis and that, and then rim colours. Let's go with a blue. So yeah, 400 about 495 grand with all the colours and that go upwards to just under half a mil. But yeah, this is a very versatile thing. And yeah, like me first of all using it was a bit of a challenge in, so but yeah, so let's press L1 and X to unfold. What I'll do will get the stabilizers out. There's that. And then We've got the boom here. You've got in cab camera. You've got the cab here on the crane. Also got a camera on the crane and then your sander free room camera. So first of all let's see the controls. L1, right analog stick, left right changes the rotation of the crane. And up and down raises and lowers the actual boom. So very simple. L1 R1. So left analog stick. Right analog stick. So that is the sliding door. And then right analog stick. Up and down. So up and down rotates the cab. So if you want a better range, like better view than that. And then right analog stick, left and right. I cannot find. So yeah. I'm going left and right. Can't see nothing on the boom in that. So yeah, I got no idea what L1 R1 is for left and right analog stick. Nothing, at least for me, is clear. So let's say with the hook lift camera, and then just you pressing L1 at. I am rotating the crane, and yeah, remember this boom. What size is it again? 85 meters or 279 feet. So, let's go outside of this sec. So, R1. And there is... The horn. So, yeah, right analog stick. Up and down. That. It raises and there is the actual hook that. So, I'll show you. This thing going down. That's up and down. And then left and right contracts or expands the boom. So let's go and just keep on expanding and see how far that is. So yeah, if I can think of so many things with this, like creative, still going, still going, and yeah, that is huge. And let's say if you want to fold this, press L1 and X. And it rapid folds it all up. Then press L1 next again to unfold. 
So yeah, let's say if your boom is all the way out and you want to quickly contract it, yeah, press L1 and X works perfectly fine. However, word of warning, because it can get a bit messy. So yeah, well, first of all, let's go and rotate this. Let's go to the camera. So yeah, for these cranes to attach, it is dead easy and super simple. So all you have to do is go somewhere over the container. Maybe in the perfectionist over the middle. Lower down the hook. And at some point you should get a message. There we go, so yeah. The trigger is actually pretty leeway, so as long as you're in the center of the container, press X to attach. And that attaches all the hooks. So then what you can do is raise and lower this. Ah, wait a minute. So yeah, L1, R1. That rotates the hook. Ah, I get it now. And yeah, if you want to. No, not that. I'll go the other way. Oops. Very quick at rotating this is. But yeah, one thing I want to do is do a bit of... You've heard of bell stacking. You've heard of pallet stacking. Now, let's see how long it'll take for me to stack these containers. All things considering. And yeah, just gently rotate that. And there we go. So yeah, we could press just X to attach or reattach. And just for fun, Let's say I want to fold this. Let's see if I can break this and... So yep, yeah, it wraps it up, folds it. And there we go. <laughs> the Libra LTM 4050 mobile crane, mobile crane by Ross N Mod. So, yeah, you can't really drive with the containers attached. This is purely designed for loading and offloading. So if you're working at the docks or somewhere, forestry, but even with, with these containers, you can have straps and that with these. So in theory, or with some of them, some of them at least, I think they are, got the tension strap option. I can think of recovering, recovering the tr tractor and that with this. And yeah, I'm sure there's going to be people with creative ways of dealing with this. So yeah, that is the Zebra LTM 1450 mobile crane. And that is it for the models today. And one quick look on the mod hub. And yep, there's nothing else released. So that's a very quick mod review. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this and find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. Please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider... But for you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this is Farmer Ever Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.